Hello everyone and welcome to video 6 of chapter 1 in the Windows 7 series. In this video you will be learning how to change the screen resolution of your computer. Ok so first you're just going to uh, right click on the desktop and hit screen resolution. From there a dialog should display similar to mine. Ok so this area here is basically the screens you currently have connected. So in my case, I only have the one screen, which is my laptop screen. Okay, so the display will also be identified by numbers. So one and one. If you have another display, you will obviously have two displays here with one, which will be up here, and two, which will be next to it. You can identify the display by just clicking identify. If you do have another display connected, it will then identify the number that that display has been assigned. So, in most cases, two. You can also detect a display. It doesn't detect any displays, so you don't need to worry about that really. At the moment we've got mobile PC display selected, which is my laptop screen. And the resolution is 1280 by 720. If I was to change this, you would see a smaller area of the screen as Camtasia is currently recording at 180, 1280 by 720 for HD on YouTube. But if you do wish to change this, you can simply just click where your resolution is at the moment and drag up or down. You may get this uh, little uh, message pop up saying if your resolution is below 1024 by 768, some eight items may not fit on the screen and the orientation is basically how the screen is displayed so in my case it's landscape because this is a wide screen but I can display it as portrait like this and there you go as you can see though, the screen has actually uh, gone the other way round so it's quite tricky for me to actually control the screen at that uh, portrait orientation so I'm just going to go on landscape. You can also go on advanced settings which uh, obviously takes you to your uh, graphics card properties and I'm not going to explain that at the moment though because there are some of you may have different graphics cards to me so you can connect a project projector by just clicking connect to projector and this should appear yours may be different depending on the drivers obviously it might be the same, but so doing this, you can either duplicate the display, extend it, or just display it on the external display, which would be the projector or TV. You can make text and other items smaller or larger, but I will be explaining this in another tutorial on the series. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget, we do put a lot of time and effort into these video tutorials, so please rate, comment, and subscribe.